Hey everybody, it's it's me again, Jeff Ong. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and listening in to today's event. If you've just joined us, uh, this is I Hate Being Hated, which is an online benefit event being presented by Joy Ruckus Club, 400 days and sessions live. Um, so yeah, don't forget that today we are raising money for Stand With Asian Americans. You can donate at their website, which is standwithasianamericans.com. So you just head to their website, hit the blue donate button, or you can send love via sessions. So you can send send love to all of us through sessions. So up next, we have our final round of statements uh, from some government and business leadership organizations who I'm going to tell you about. Um, the Asian American business leaders in our community are committed to fighting for change. The change that is needed requires a national awakening and a dialogue that involves leaders from every community if we are to undo the generations of systemic bias and racism. We are business leaders. We can help make change happen. The first statement today is going to be from the Washington State Commission on APA Affairs, who are a government commission in Washington State. The Washington State Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs is committed to its purpose to improve the well-being of Asian Pacific Americans. The next statement will be from the Asian Leaders Alliance, who are a nonprofit based in San Francisco, California. To foster collaboration across Asian Pacific Islander Employee Resource Groups, ERGs, and civic organizations in effort to spur positive, long-term, and immune, uh, inclusive community impact. Asian, the, the next, uh, fucking hell. All right, let's start this one again. From the top. Take two. Sink. Here we go. Hey, everybody. It's, uh, it's me again, Jeff Ong here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and listening in to today's event. If you've just joined us, this is I Hate Being Hated, which is an online benefit event presented by Joy Ruckus Club, 400 Days, and hosted right here on Sessions Live. So don't forget today that we are raising money for Stand With Asian Americans, and you can donate at their website by clicking the blue donate button, or you can send us love via the Sessions platform. Uh, send us some hearts. And it all helps. Everything helps. So thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And um, yeah, glad you're here. So up next, we have our final round of statements from some government and business leadership organizations who I will tell you about. Um, the Asian American business leaders in our community are committed to fighting for change. The change that is needed requires a national awakening and a dialogue that involves leaders from every community. If we are to undo the generations of systemic bias and racism, we are business leaders and we can help make change happen. The first statement in the segment will be from the Washington State Commission on APA Affairs, who are a government commission based in Washington State. The Washington State Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs is committed to its purpose to improve the well-being of Asian Pacific Americans. The next statement will be from the Asian Leaders Alliance, who are a non-profit based in San Francisco, California. And their aim is to foster collaboration across Asian Pacific Islander Employee Resource Groups, or ERGs, and civic organizations in an effort to spur positive, long-term, and inclusive community impact. And after that, we will have a statement from the Asian Business Association in San Diego, who are a nonprofit based in San Diego, California. Um, founded in 1990, the Asian Business Association of San, Fran uh, San Diego, or ABASD, represents the interests of over 30,000 Asian Pacific Islander, or API, owned businesses throughout San Diego County. The ABASD believes in building sustainable communities through inclusive economic development and a qualified, diverse workforce. And the final statement in this round will be from the Asian Real Estate Association of America, who are a nonprofit based in San Diego, California. And AREAA is dedicated to promoting sustainable home ownership opportunities in Asian American communities by, pre by creating a powerful national voice for housing and real estate professionals that serve this dynamic market. And just one final reminder that today we are raising money for Stand With Asian Americans, uh, and you can find them at standwithasianamericans.com. Uh, and you can donate at that website by clicking the blue donate button, or you can send us some love via session. So thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for being here. And let's hear from our speakers.
Hello, my name is Nam Wang, and I'm here with a message from the Washington State Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs. I have to confess, this is the first I heard of the Joy Ruckus Club. I had the opportunity to check out your page and your music, and I have to say, I don't like it. It's just a little too bouncy. I prefer the old-fashioned crooning of Elvis Moon and Linda Trang Dai, songs from Vietnamese American about lost love, heartbreaks, and occasionally loneliness in the snowy winters from singers who live in Southern California. But I would like to commend your mission. The Commission on Asian Pacific American Affairs is a Washington state agency that advise and advocate on issues affecting Asian Pacific American communities. And not many issues are more important today than the rise of anti-Asian hate. While Commission addressed this issue mostly through politics and policy, it's just as important to combat anti-Asian hate through arts and culture. The type of hate our community is facing is almost always from certain Americans direct toward those who they do not believe belongs. It's through art and culture that Asian Americans can assert our place in this multicultural society, where we can uncloak the facade of foreignness that was our uniform for generations and all the stereotypes that came along the way. We have made progress in recent years in the literary field. Asian Americans have won Pulitzer's and other national book awards by telling stories of the Asian American experience. In the film and television industry, we have won awards as well, telling our stories. We will prog progress in music and other artistic fields, not just by importing art from Asia, like K-pop and Hong Kong action movies, but creating our own unique Asian American art. That is how we will assert that we belong, that we are American culture. And if, and if other Americans hate us, then they are just hating themselves. The Commission support efforts to end Asian anti-Asian hate, including your unique effort. Together we will address hate through a position of strength and solidarity with other ethnic groups that are also struggling to assert their belonging in this country of ours. Joy Ruckus Club presents, I Hate Being Hated. I am a proud first generation Filipino American. I am Hmong. I am an immigrant Korean. I am first generation Chinese Canadian. I am Filipino American. I am ethnically Chinese and culturally Vietnamese. I am Chinese Cambodian. I am a queer Japanese French Canadian. I am ethnically Indonesian Chinese and culturally Singaporean. I am Chinese American. I am fourth generation Chinese American. I am a Chinese American immigrant. I am first generation Korean American. I am Cambodian Vietnamese Chinese American. I am Chinese. I am Chinese American. We are Asian Leaders Alliance. We are Asian Leaders Alliance. We stand united against violence and hate, against the Asian communities and all communities. We stand united against violence and hate against the Asian communities and all communities. We are a community of ELG leaders that belong to over 180 plus corporate API ELGs throughout the United States, Canada, and the world. We, along with Stand With Asian Americans and many organizations you have heard today, stand united together against hate and violence. Hello, my name is Lauren Garces, the Marketing Outreach and Events Director at Asian Business Association San Diego. I also represent the Convoy District, a special place representing and advocating at the heart of San Diego's Asian American community and home of some of the best Asian owned restaurants and small businesses that San Diego has to offer. Here at ABA San Diego, we've been working to uplift and help our Asian and minority owned businesses thrive as they navigate the hardships and challenges that came with the pandemic. From the Convoy District to our Asian and minority communities, we've reached out and helped some of the hardest hit communities around us. The start of the pandemic saw small businesses, especially Asian owned businesses affected in compounding ways due to discrimination, language and digital barriers. 
When COVID-19 first made headlines from China, Asian-owned businesses lost almost all of their customer base during Lunar New Year, a time usually filled with joy for our family and friends, all out of misguided fear that these businesses were hubs for the virus. And that's not to mention the fact that people use this as a justification for hate crimes against Asians. So what did ABASD do? We showed up. We showed up for our mom and pop businesses to keep generations of our community's dreams alive. We've partnered with nonprofits and local chambers of commerce to drive foot traffic to our mom and pop businesses and keep them afloat. We've taken on outreach efforts with local government and community orgs to make sure that aid reaches where it's needed most. And we've directly worked with mom and pop businesses, went into their stores all around San Diego, listened to them, asked them to tell their stories, and highlighted the work that they do through our no-cost technical assistance programs. Just last October, though, we were very proud to announce that Convoy District was recognized as the Convoy Pan-Asian Cultural and Business Innovation District of San Diego. The product of our diverse communities here coming together and raising our voices to finally be recognized as a pan-Asian area after more than decades and generations of our community leaders' hard work. Thanks so much to Joy Ruckus Club and Stand with Asian Americans for hosting such an important event as this. And we hope everyone out there continues to support our Asian and minority-owned businesses, volunteer with your local nonprofits, and raise your voices to fight the good fight. My name is Amy Kong, National President of the Asian Real Estate Association of America. Thank you, John Rickards Club, for inviting us to be a part of your I Hate Being Hated event. Ever since the pandemic, our community has been under attack, not just verbally, but with increased violence, especially towards the seniors and women. We cannot afford to see our community member afraid to even take a peaceful walk around the neighborhood. This kind of violence creates a fear among our people and prohibits us from choosing a place where we wanted to live our life and grow our family. The increased hate against Asian American created not just discrimination issues, but fair housing challenges as well. Our members learned and equipped themselves with tools and ways to report all discriminations so that every attack is reported and we are able to show the damage being done within our communities. Remaining status quo is no longer an option. ARIA stands with Asian Americans and we will not be silenced. We are AAPI and we are not any perpetual foreigner. I urge all media, research companies, and government to show a category called AAPI since we are the fastest growing immigration community in the US. You can call us AAPI, but not other. <laughs>